So we're going to talk about uh, Trimble's solution for taking um, your BIM modeling information to the field for improving your, your field layout on your commercial construction projects. But first, what I would like to do is talk about a little bit about Trimble's um, background and history and overview of our company, uh, since some of you may not be familiar with us. Uh, we were founded in 1978, uh, at that time primarily focused on uh, GPS technology. But since then, um, through some mergers and acquisitions and market focus, uh, in the last uh, 10, 12 years, we have been heavily focused on construction, the construction and surveying markets, agriculture, mapping and GIS, and mobile workers, and creating uh, productivity uh, solutions uh, for all of those markets. We are a leader in positioning, alignment, and control technologies, and in the areas of 3D machine control, robotic optical total stations, uh, pre precise GPS surveying technology, and lasers for leveling and alignment. Uh, we are a publicly traded company on the NASDAQ, um, with our symbol being TRMB, and we employ about 3,000 employees around the world, a little bit more than that. And specifically, the construction uh, division is divided into two main groups, uh, first being building construction, where we're focused on developing uh, activities for the commercial, industrial, and residential uh, markets. Uh, and this is for both general contractors and um, targeted solutions for the specific trades uh, within that market. We start with uh, site prep applications where we can help um, guide small excavators, bulldozers, um, uh, earth moving equipment to give them alignment and control applications for improving the uh, preparation of a building site, uh, for um, doing the excavation for the basements, um, footings and foundations. Uh, leveling and alignment solutions for, for ensuring that the sub-base and base material for the concrete is uh, properly level and the pouring of the concrete and the finished slab is level or walls are aligned properly. And layout solutions for doing your layout from concrete uh, forms through mechanical floor penetrations, electrical, um, plumbing, and interior wall layout. And we're going to be talking a lot more about that today. Then we also have the heavy and highway division where we're focused on both large highway contractors and large site prep contractors where we have solutions that range from uh, planning and design software for creating your models, for putting on the 3D machines um, to control the bulldozers and motor graders, uh, staking and grade check solutions um, where you can take out whether it's GPS or using a robotic total, uh, total station where field workers can go out and ensure that the, the leveling that's being done and the earth moving is being done is matching the desired uh, grades that have been designed, as well as the full 3D machine control applications shown in this bottom right picture where we have a mast at each end of the uh, dozer blade, which is getting a position signal from uh, GPS satellites. And that tells the machine where it's located on the site, what elevation it currently is, and that's the elevation at each edge of the blade. Uh, and taking the, the design model from our software in the planning design phase and loading that model onto the machine, we can tell the machine what elevation it wants to be and we control the cutting edge of the blade as the operator drives. Now though, we want to get into some of the building construction uh, challenges and um, talk about our improvements in the layout solutions. And as, you, as you all know, Contractors face many challenges today. I mean, projects are increasingly complex. You have a lot more curved and odd angled walls. Uh, there's tighter spaces for installing the uh, MEP systems on the site. Um, the schedules are getting, are getting more and more demanding. You have a lot of jobs that run 24 hours a day to try to meet um, so that the building can start producing income uh, sooner. And because of all these conditions, contractors have to find ways to increase their productivity. There's a shrinking time window to complete tasks, and they have to get more done in less time. 
and they need to eliminate rework. Um, profit margins are lower, and the impact of mistakes is greater. And so they've got to find a way to eliminate rework so that they can maximize their profits and, and make sure that the projects come in uh, um, under budget. Now, with solutions such as uh, uh, Vico, the virtual construction models that can be created um, with these great office solutions, they enable or improve many processes, including you know, clash detection across the trades where you can identify problems before they occur, model-based cost estim estimation that can improve accuracy, construction planning and coordination, um, according to the schedule and sequencing, not only within your own um, self-performing uh, field crews, but also planning across the different trades on the site. Um, proves the communication across all the stakeholders. 3D visualization is better than words. When you can see a picture of, what, of what's expected, it's a lot easier to communicate who is going to be doing what and at what time. And supply chain management. What, when, and where do things need to happen when, um, when you need uh, materials delivered and where they should be delivered. So these are all just fantastic improvements to um, planning out the entire construction process and helping to communicate across it. But when we get out into the field, the problem is, is that we go back to the paper plans come out, and this leaves the, this 3D model data that's been used for the clash detection and scheduling and sequencing back in the office. And you're not, we're not taking advantage of that data. And traditional manual methods are often still used for layout. That includes manually scaling distances and calculating angles from plans, you know, uh, you know from plan sheets, that is, and turning angles with the autolites, um, pulling tapes to measure distances. And truthfully, accuracy is required by all the trades. And this is true whether you're laying out footings or foundations, anchor bolts, interior walls, or doing floor penetrations and inserts for pipe and duct hangers. And as we said before, mistakes are costly, and it's not just because of the rework uh, cost. They, and mistakes can affect multiple trades, which can delay the, the start of other tasks, um, which delays the entire project, which has an impact on everyone. Um, mistakes can also uh, require design changes due to a mistake. Um, as everybody knows, we do, you don't want to see jackhammers come out to pull out anchor bolts that have been put in the wrong place. Um, you don't want to see pipe sleeves coming up uh, partially in the wall and out of the wall. Um, this picture is actually from a project where the cost on this, it was a residential high-rise condominium complex and the, the mis with a lot of odd-angled walls, very difficult layout, and um, it was all textured, exposed concrete ceilings, so everything was poured in place and there was over $800,000 in rework costs to the uh, plumbing contractor on this job alone. It was about a 23-story 20, high-rise condominium complex. Now, Trimble and Vico working together are going to improve your layout process by putting the paper plans away. And doing this, what they're doing is they want to be able to take the data from your 3D modeling, this accurate models that you put together that you can do clash detection from. Uh, some of them also are driving fabrication in the mechanical and plumbing trades, as well as uh, precast concrete and structural steel. And this accurate model data, pulling points from that and taking it to a Trimble field controller, and then using that data directly in the field. 